looking in their rooms now and seeing they're not there, and this is all because of a choice that I made to do drugs. Those veterans and active duty service members are able to really invest personally in their own transition. Just thinking about prostate cancer itself, just talking to people about it and sharing the, the issue of it. They're willing to listen, but it's on them to act on it. Like I said, I refuse to go back downtown. I refuse to go back to prison. To be able to help people just like myself, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, I'm joined now with Dr. Ray Stats, president of Craven Community College. Dr. Stats, you have a lot of programs here trying to help transitioning veterans. Why is this a priority? So from the community's perspective, uh, we have a base of highly skilled, highly valuable, highly disciplined workers that are ready to come to work. Basically, kind of like in the Marine Corps when we would go out to deploy, be like, hey, we're going forward, we're going to be the leaders, we're going to do this stuff and take care of, you know, whatever comes along in country. Same thing here, you know, with students, when they leave this school, they have the best training they could possibly get. We're brothers, and we are um, our brother's keeper. They thought you were crazy. They thought it was a, a crazy idea to flip a prison. What fueled you to keep going despite the skepticism?